And you're not bad most TV entertainment without bound. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. On Trending today, Nigerians reignite the NSAS campaign following the killing of a young boy in Delta State. Details in just a little bit. <laughs> Save that I will get it. Save that I will get it. See them. Zero zero nine. Zero zero nine. For front of a uh, wetland. Wetland okay. See the see the see the see the lasers also. Now the bike got this lasers also. You want to see them? See them oh, they don't kill the bike oh, the bike they run oh. See them oh. Widespread reactions have trailed the shooting of a young man in front of a hotel in Ugeli Delta State by Special anti robbery Squad SAS operatives. The shooting reignited the end SAS campaign, which has been on for a few years. The video, which went viral on Saturday, showed how there was confusion around the Wetland Hotel in Ogele area where the policeman allegedly killed the victim and escaped with his vehicle, a white Lexus Sport utility vehicle. Nigerians on social media reignited the hashtag NSAS and reactions have come from celebrities, actors, social media influencers, among other concerned Nigerians. One of the strong voices in the NSAS campaign, Shegun Awosonya, popularly known as Segaling, said that there are hundreds of cases that never made it to social media, if not more. The call for the resignation of the IGP would be in order if no action is taken immediately on these murders with sanctions on the direct supervisors of these rogue officers. Nigerians urged the Buhari administration to take immediate steps to contain continuous cases of brutality linked to the police special anti-robbery squad SAS. The department has faced relentless allegations of arrest, torture and extortion of citizens for decades, but the menace was only being collectively amplified on the internet in recent months. Here is the video of what went down in Delta State that again triggered the end SARS campaign. <laughs> Hi, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos, and of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that this pandemic in the land, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. Some of the prominent persons who have reacted to the NSAS campaign include former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Minister of Youth and Sport Development Sunday Dari, former Senate President Bukola Saraki, and Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawolu, amongst others. A statement by the Minister of Youth and Sports Development stated that it is worried about the increasing menace and increasing harassment as well as attacks by SAS especially targeted at the youth and other innocent members of the public. Saraki, in a series of tweets, noted the continuous reports of harassment and illegal arrest by the unit were disheartening. He, however, urged the federal government to restructure the unit. Also, Sonwolu tweeted on Sunday saying that the safety of our residents is my number one duty as a CSO of Lagos. So reading reports of seemingly unlawful exploitation by the people charged to protect is very worrying and needs to be addressed immediately. 
be assured that appropriate actions will be taken and speedily too. Popular musician Banky W also wrote on Twitter, how many young Nigerians will have to be robbed, kidnapped, killed by SARS before our government takes it seriously? The special anti-robbery squad is doing the robbing? Such a disgrace. What will it take for our leaders to do something about it? Hashtag NSAS, hashtag NSAS now. Femi Kuti also tweeted, How many more innocent people must SAS or the police kill before urgent steps are taken to completely overhaul and reform the entire police force? Obviously, government and their families are safe, is why they are nonchalant and indifferent. While more people are lending their voice to the NSAS campaign, some videos emerged on social media showing young people in different parts of the country standing up to policemen in their area. Here are some of the videos we found on social media. In the middle of the heated campaign on social media, the Inspector General of Police, Adamo, has ordered the ban of routine protocols by FSAS. In a statement released by the police spokesman, Frank Umba, the Inspector General of Police says that it has banned the personnel of the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, FSAS, and other tactical squads of the force, including the Special Tactical Squad, STS, Intelligence Response Team, IRT, and the anti cultism Squad and other tactical squads operating at the federal, zone, and command levels from carrying out routine patrols and other conventional low-risk duties, such as stop-and-search duties, checkpoints, mounting of roadblocks, traffic checks, ETC with immediate effect. In addition, no personnel of the force is authorized to embark on patrols or tactical assignments in Mufti. They must always appear in their police uniforms or approved tactical gear. While some people have applauded the IGP for his response to the NSAS campaign, some other people are still in disbelief of the effectiveness of the order. And this has led to the call of protest from celebrities, social media influencers, and a couple of other concerned Nigerians. While we hope that the government will do the needful and stop the killings of young Nigerians, we also hope that the young people will not go ahead to take laws into their own hands. We'll definitely bring you updates on this. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmas TV before you go. See you soon. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment